Here is Nucida's weekly forecast of expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels for week 51 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. Point. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their engagement potential on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. Point. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10th, sustainability in testing. This topic ranks lower due to its emerging status in discussions, appearing in specialized reports and articles as an eco-friendly optimization trend, but with limited viral buzz on social media or mainstream blogs this week. Recent reports, such as the World Quality Report 2025 to 2026 and industry analyses, highlight growing awareness of software's environmental impact, including energy consumption in test environments and data centers. Sustainability involves optimizing test processes to reduce carbon footprints, such as minimizing redundant executions and using efficient cloud resources amid broader corporate ESG goals. Point. My advice, start auditing your test environments for energy consumption. Switch to virtualized or cloud-based setups where possible, and prioritize efficient test cases to minimize redundant runs. My prediction for the upcoming three months expect gradual adoption as regulatory pressures mount. By early 2026, more tools will include built-in carbon footprint trackers, making sustainable practices a standard checkbox in QA strategies. Nine, low code slash no code testing platforms. Ranking here reflects its niche appeal in democratizing testing, mentioned in several 2025 trend lists and YouTube videos, but not dominating real-time conversations. These platforms enable non-technical users to create and execute tests via drag-and-drop interfaces, accelerating involvement from business stakeholders. Reports like TestRail's 2025 trends note their rise for faster automation in agile environments, reducing dependency on specialized coders. Point. My advice, experiment with platforms like these for rapid prototyping of tests. They're ideal for non-technical team members to contribute without deep coding knowledge. Point. My prediction for the upcoming three months, integration with existing automation frameworks will improve, leading to hybrid approaches where low-code handles, simple scenarios, and traditional tools manage complex ones. Eighth crowd testing, and real user feedback. It earns this spot for its practical value in real-world validation, highlighted in blogs and reports, though overshadowed by AI hype. Crowd testing leverages diverse global users for exploratory testing on real devices, capturing edge cases missing in labs. Sources like Uber Testers 2025 to 2026 Outlook emphasize its role in delivering authentic user experiences and broader coverage. Point. My advice, incorporate crowd testing for exploratory phases, especially for mobile or global apps, to capture diverse device and user behaviors early. Point. My prediction for the upcoming three months, hybrid models combining crowd testing with AI analysis will emerge, providing faster insights and broader coverage. Seventh, ethical AI and bias testing. This ranks mid-tier as compliance and trust issues gain traction in reports, with some LinkedIn and YouTube discussions on responsible AI. With regulations like the EU AI Act expanding, testing for bias, fairness, and transparency in AI systems is critical. The World Quality Report 2025 to 26 and Gartner Insights stress ethical considerations to avoid discriminatory outcomes and build user trust. Point. My advice, 
implement bias audits in your AI-driven tests and involve diverse teams in review processes to ensure fairness. My prediction for the upcoming three months. New regulations, e.g. expansions of the EU AI Act, will drive mandatory ethical checklists, boosting tool development for automated bias detection. Sixth, performance and cloud-native testing. Appearing consistently in trend articles and market forecasts, it ranks here for addressing modern architecture challenges like microservices. Testing in cloud-native environments focuses on scalability, resilience in Kubernetes slash serverless setups, and simulating real-world loads. 2,025 reports from Virtusa and others note its importance amid rising cloud adoption. Point! My advice, invest in cloud-based testing platforms that simulate real traffic and environments to catch scalability issues early. My prediction for the upcoming three months, with rising cloud adoption, tools for Kubernetes and serverless testing will mature, reducing deployment failures. Five, QA ops and continuous testing integration. This collaborative approach ranks higher due to its alignment with DevOps evolution, frequently cited in blogs and professional networks. QA OPS embed quality assurance into operations, enabling continuous feedback in CI slash CD pipelines. Axel Q and global app testing trends for 2025 to 2026 highlight their role in faster, reliable releases. Point. My advice, embed QA directly into CI slash CD pipelines for automated ongoing checks. Foster cross-team communication to make quality everyone's responsibility. Point. My prediction for the upcoming three months, QA ops will become a standard in agile teams with more unified platforms emerging to streamline workflows. Fourth, Shift left and shift right testing. A balanced, well-rounded strategy that's a staple in nearly all 20, 25 slash 2026 trend reports, earning strong ranking for its proven impact. Shift left moves testing early for prevention, while shift right monitors production for real user insights. Combined hybrid approaches are emphasized in test rail, X-ray, and tricentis analyses for comprehensive lifecycle coverage. My advice, move testing earlier, shift left for prevention and later shift right for production monitoring, combine both for comprehensive coverage. Point, my prediction for the upcoming three months. Tools supporting full lifecycle testing will proliferate, making this hybrid approach the default in enterprise settings. Third, DevSecOps and security integrated quality. Ranking high amid rising cyber threats it's a core theme in reports and discussions on resilient software. Integrating security from the start via automated scans addresses vulnerabilities early. Gartner and Checkpoint reports underscore its necessity with increasing application level attacks. My advice, integrate security scans from day one. Use automated vulnerability tools in your pipelines to catch issues without slowing development. Point. My prediction for the upcoming three months, with increasing attacks, DevSecOps maturity models will guide adoption, leading to fewer high-profile breaches. Second, hyper-automation and self-healing tests. Strong presence in automation-focused YouTube trends and blogs places it near the top for efficiency gains. Hyper-automation combines RPA, ML, and AI for end-to-end -end processes with self-healing tests adapting to UI changes autonomously. Ask UI, Catalan, and Parasoft 2025 trends predict advancements reducing maintenance drastically. My advice, adopt self-healing scripts that adapt to UI changes, combined with RPA for repetitive tasks to free testers for strategic work. Point. My prediction for the upcoming three months Advancements in ML will make self-healing more reliable, significantly reducing maintenance overhead. One, AI and generative AI in testing. Dominating as the number one topic due to overwhelming mentions across blogs, reports, YouTube videos, and forecasts. It's the most discussed transformation in software quality this week. GenAI drives test case generation, predictive analysis, 
optimization, and synthetic data creation that gain up 25% usage per World Quality Report 2025 to 2026, citing the Catalan Report 76% of organizations use AI tools, with agentic AI emerging for autonomous testing. My advice, start with AI for test case generation and optimization. Always pair it with human oversight to validate outputs and avoid over-reliance. Point. My prediction for the upcoming three months, generative AI tools will become more accessible and integrated, accelerating test creation while sparking debates on job impacts. Forecast for emerging topics in 2026 and 2027. In 2026, agentic AI, autonomous agents handling complex testing workflows, and predictive quality engineering, proactive defect prevention via data analytics, will dominate, as noted in Parasoft and ExcelQ forecasts. Quantum-inspired testing and enhanced quantum safe security will gain traction against evolving threats. Point. By 2027, platform engineering for unified quality tools, mandatory sustainable software mandates, e.g. green coding standards, and digital immunity, integrating observability, chaos engineering, and resilient supply chains will mature. Ethical AI governance will become standardized globally, with AI ethics roles commonplace. Quality engineering will evolve into fully predictive, autonomous systems, integrating deeply with development and operations for hyper-resilient software. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.